through that pain and suffering, you know, this is, it weaves great things too. Through heartbreak, the family of a teenager who died by suicide is now offering hope to others. Yesterday, we introduced you to the Erickson family whose son Kellen died two years ago. Kellen's death led them to start a foundation in his name. Our Derek Dice explains how it's helping other families fighting mental health challenges of their own. Kellen Erickson's family felt called to act almost immediately after his death. And this Saturday, their foundation will host an event aimed at helping other parents prevent tragedies like the one that took their son. As he went through elementary school and just a real fun, happy kid to be around. Kellen Erickson's friends and family remember him for his warmth, his beautiful smile. And his, his big brown eyes. He had really big, beautiful eyes. But behind those beautiful eyes was a teenager and an athlete who was struggling with depression and the uncertainty of life after high school. And so I think it's a combination of moving on to college, you're graduating, your, your identity has been wrapped up in sports, and that was it. No, no more you know, competitive sports. Um, and so he's just questioned who he was altogether. And then, the unthinkable. Kellen died by suicide just months after graduating from Ferris, leaving his family in disbelief. It was horrific. But through the heartbreak, Kellen's family knew they needed to act. They started the Kellen Cares Foundation to help other young men and their families with mental health issues. We're just trying to help provide a roadmap or any sort of resource, and if it, if it saves one person, then that's what we're hoping for. They found that boys die by suicide almost four times more than girls. So Kellen Cares aims to celebrate and uplift our boys. I think right now there's a lot of negativity um, towards them that they're lazy and they're, you know, they're unambitious. And we need to look at ourselves a little bit more and say, are we, are we doing all we can to lift them up and, and see what they're I see their amazing sense of humor and, and, uh, and how they're going to thrive. Today we're going to talk about the magic word gratitude as we embrace our mental health. Kellen's uncle, Kelly Reese, posted a series of videos on his physical therapy office's Facebook page, hoping other grown men can share their vulnerabilities with our boys. They're looking up to us as, man, these guys are all dialed. and. They need to know that we, you know, lack that confidence and we hurt every day and we're scared, you know, and, and we make mistakes, you know, and that's, it's okay. This Saturday, Kellen Cares is helping struggling families take a step forward with its first big event, the Helping Boys Thrive Summit. We're really excited about this. The summit will feature professionals and educators, including Dr. Michael Gurian. The solutions are there. A best-selling author and family therapist from right here in Spokane. It'll address the effects of social media on our boys, as well as drugs and alcohol. Instead of feeling lost and alone, the idea is to let's bring some education and awareness and and then some, some really good resources to lift these guys up, you know, and, and the summit is the first step. But along with the education, Kellen Cares wants families to leave the summit with one other very important thing. Hope. We want to have hopeful parents come out of this, hopeful parents that want to just look into everything and just be aware. The Helping Boys Thrive Summit will take place all day Saturday at Summit Church at 29th in Pittsburgh, and there's still time to register. You can find a link inside this story on KXOY.com. In studio, I'm Derek Dice, 4 News Now. We've more to share, but we can't include it all on TV, so right now you can download our streaming app free on your TV. Just search KXOY Plus for exclusive content and more conversations about this important issue. These conversations could save someone's life.